So today we're having the second uh, times table challenge and this time we have um, students from the primary and the secondary school competing against one another, whoever can solve the times tables the fastest. The competition starts off with all of the qualified learners uh, that compete against one another. We select from those kids, we select the top 20. Uh, they all get three uh, attempts at uh, at the best time and then we go from 20 to 10 learners then to three learners then in the final we select uh, the first second and third prize from the three learners when we start with our students we see the learners uh, using their fingers a lot uh, for counting so at some stage there are not enough fingers to do all of the counting that they need to do and if children learn the times tables properly they can spend far less time counting with their fingers and actually concentrating on the math at hand. Olico is a NGO that focuses on maths education and so we offer a blended approach of tutoring and technology um, to advance children's math skills because we saw that most students choose maths lit in grade 9 and that is something that we try to work against. One of the major hurdles is that kids don't believe they can do it. And so with this time table challenge, kids can actually see quite easily that with a bit of practice, you can improve in math and you can do better. We use uh, Moodle, but we have developed all our own questions and videos that our um, in-house math genius, uh, Dr. Lin Bowie, um, makes for the kids to understand the concept and then we have questions on that concept that get asked and also then marked straight online. The whole product is free so um, anybody anywhere can log in use the resources as they wish either in class after school or at home. Five, four, but the competition factor for the time step challenge is extremely important. It's important for the kids to be motivated to try a little harder next time, to try to be the best. One of the learners who's here today, um, in every break he goes into the lab and practices his time step so, so that he uh, will be the best at the time step challenge. And so that dedication is, is phenomenal and also teaches him that hard work does pay off. We face learners that are convinced that they are not good enough for uh, maths, for science, and so they don't do it. And we need to convince learners that they can and obviously tell them that, that it's going to be a lot of hard work. But the most important thing is to convince them that they 